Hey guys, welcome back to Side Hustle Mastery. So in this video, we are going to be going over how you can start a faceless YouTube channel. I think this is one of the best opportunities for making money on YouTube and doing something that can generate a lot of passive income without having to show your face. And I'm really excited for this video because I know you guys are gonna get a ton of useful and actionable tips from it. So let's talk about the things that we're going to cover in this course. So first we'll talk about what a faceless YouTube channel is. I'll give you a definition and I'll actually go through uh, some very popular faceless YouTube channels out there. Next we'll go over how to choose the right niche for your faceless YouTube channel. You can be successful making a faceless YouTube channel in any type of niche, but not all niches are going to work well for you, so we'll go over you know, how to actually choose it. Then we're gonna talk about what types of videos work best for this type of uh, video format. And of course, I'll show you guys how to actually make faceless videos. We'll go through the whole content strategy from uh, actually thinking about the idea to getting it made and having it posted on your channel. Then we'll talk about free versus paid methods of content creation. So, so yes, you can actually make a faceless channel for free and the only thing you have to invest is your own time or you can pay other people to help script, voiceover and make the videos for you so it can be a pretty passive source of income. Then we'll talk about different strategies and ways for you to make money using your uh, faceless uh, YouTube channel and then we'll talk about strategies to grow your channel. The start is always the hardest, but with some certain strategies, you can really speed up the growth of your channel. Then we'll talk about a video release strategy that is basically guaranteed to increase your initial views. This is going to be extremely helpful for you guys. And then we'll be going through some of the faceless niches that have done well in the past, that have done well with other channels. So you'll get to see some examples of those. And then finally, I'll end with what type of channel I would start today if I were making a faceless YouTube channel. So yeah, we're gonna cover a lot it's going to be step a to z and i really think you guys are going to get a lot of value out of it so let's get started first off what is a faceless youtube channel right so a faceless uh, youtube channel is a method of youtube video creation where there is no person in front of the camera as the subject of the video so it might be a little bit hard to understand based off that definition what it is, but a lot of you guys seem to want to uh, have YouTube channels, but a lot of you don't like being in front of cameras, which you know is pretty normal. In fact, I don't even like being in front of the camera myself. But this faceless uh, YouTube strategy allows you to make really great videos and not have to be in it. And this basically is just going to be using voiceovers and stock footage. Uh, we'll get more into that later on, but basically that's what this type of video is. And when you're doing these faceless YouTube channels, it allows for a really uh, automated content creation process. There are a lot of people making millions and millions of dollars doing this, and you might not think that's possible, but it actually is. I've literally seen people do it, and you know, this method has generated millions of subscribers, billions of views, and like I said, millions of dollars for channel owners since YouTube's inception. So here's some examples of some successful faceless YouTube channels. You might not even associate these channels with being faceless, but if you watch their videos, you'll see that, hey, there's no one actually talking to the camera. You don't see anyone's face. It's literally a bunch of stock footage or graphics that is backed by some type of voiceover. So, you know, let me actually take you guys through some of these channels just so you can see what they're like. So I'm here in YouTube and I'm gonna look up the first one that we're gonna check out and that is going to be Bright Sides. So I'm gonna look that up and that's it right here. <laughs> you can see 40.9 million subscribers that means that this channel is probably generating so much money um you can see the views actually aren't as high as i thought but they're cranking out a lot of videos and when you have that much volume it's really easy to monetize so if you go to their videos section we can check out um, some of these videos you can see they post maybe like three about three videos per day which is very, very impressive. You can see in their thumbnails that no person actually appears unless it's the actual person in the video. Um, and all these topics are things that you can research and make uh, faceless videos in. So let me just go through one of them. Uh, let's go through their most recent one. I'm going to click that and just sort of scrub through this video. Cool, so you can kind of see that, I don't know if you guys could hear, but it's basically just the voiceover. And if I scrub through it, you can see it's just a ton of different images, stock photos, graphics, and things like that. It's just a voiceover. You don't see a person talking. So that's what uh, means by faceless. Uh, so yeah, these are the types of videos that 
are all over YouTube. You probably have seen a ton of them and you haven't really thought, hey, this is a faceless YouTube channel, right? This process could be automated and this process uh, could make me a lot of money. So let's actually check out the other one, um, Animal Wise. Let's look that up here. Cool, so this one has, this channel has 436,000 subscribers with 530 videos, so another very big channel. Um, few reviews, but you see that they have some very uh, popular videos that have millions and millions of views. So let's check out one of these, um, 10 things dogs hate about humans. Okay, so you can see it's just a voiceover like expected uh, with a bunch of footage of dogs. I'm not sure where they got this footage. It's probably a mix of stock footage as well as um, fair use media from other YouTube videos uh, or other sites. And then they sometimes add, you know, little graphics or text graphics here and there. Um, so that's basically the entire video. So obviously you can see this is another channel where they're doing this correctly, they're doing it really well. So now let's talk about why you should start a faceless channel. I know I've hinted at why you should already, but th this really is such a great way to get into the YouTube game without having to show your face, right? So, I mean, obviously the biggest benefit of starting a faceless channel is that you don't need to get in front of a camera. You don't need to be the image of your channel if you want to remain anonymous uh, and you just don't like that type of attention, right? So this is perfect for that. Next. Uh, you don't need any expensive equipment. You don't need really nice cameras. You don't need lighting like this. You don't need a really nice computer or a setup like this because it can all be automated. You don't need to do much work at all. And yeah, that's gonna really save up on a lot of startup costs. It's also a very easy to start business model. Once you sort of go through this video and figure out the different steps needed, you'll see that it's actually pretty simple and making these types of faceless videos is a lot easier than you would think. So since there are no startup costs, that means that the barrier of entry is quite low. So pretty much anyone can do it. You don't need to know English if you're making uh, an English uh, faceless YouTube channel. You could be in, let's say, France and make one uh, that's in English. You could be here in the States and make a French faceless YouTube channel too, right? You don't need to know the language. Uh, very little barrier to entry. Also, you can explore topics that you're passionate about. So if there are niches that you are really interested in that you want to learn more about or just you know have a channel dedicated to it, then that can be pretty interesting. And of course, you can make a lot of money doing this. It's pretty passive once you get the hang of it, once you've built up a system. So yeah, you can make millions and millions of dollars Obviously it takes time to get there, but even if you're making, you know, five, 10 grand per month, that is a full-time income and yeah, that's amazing. So let's go through some of the expectations and mindset you should have. First of all, it's not a way to get rich quick. Building a faceless YouTube channel takes a lot of time, just like it does with any other type of uh, YouTube channel and building your presence on YouTube and getting all that momentum takes a long time. I will say that, the first initial stages of your growth are going to be quite flat, but at some point it's going to get exponential, right? It's gonna look like that. So I don't know if you can see this that well, but you'll see a lot of slow growth for a long time. And then at some point you're gonna hit a tipping point. Just it happened with uh, my main channel, just like this, a lot of slow growth, then you'll start to grow really fast. And that's basically how it's going to work with your faceless channel. So with consistent quality content, you can expect to monetize your channel in I'd say about half a year. And then from there, the whole earning potential is limitless. You can continue scaling it, busting out more and more videos every single day and just making more and more passive income. So let's talk about how you can choose your niche, right? So your niche is the category or type of content that you will be making. And this type of content is going to hopefully target a specific and definable group of people. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what your audience is. The two questions you're asking yourself are, who are you creating the content for? And who do you want to serve with your content. Content doesn't all have to be educational or informational. In fact, the value or the way that you're serving your audience can just be an entertainment, right? But you just want to know what these two things are. Then you want to determine the problems that your target audience uh, is looking to solve. So 
How can you create videos that solve these problems? And then also, are you able to answer the questions your audience frequently asks or cares about? Because when you do that, that's going to increase your click-through rate uh, and that's really going to help the performance of your channel. So there are multiple ways to actually operate a faceless YouTube channel. The first one is the free method. That's basically where you're just trading your time. You don't need to spend any money, but you will have to create the content yourself. The second method is the paid method. So this is basically when you are building a whole content creation team to automate the process from scripting to the voiceover to the getting the stock footage, editing, all that stuff, uh, you can pay for it. And the third way is the hybrid method. This involves both uh, doing some things yourself as well as paying for things. So yeah, some parts of the creation process you'll be doing yourself and that's gonna depend on what your skills are or what you want to do. And then some things you're going to hire it out. And yeah, like I said, it's gonna be based on your skills as well as what you want to do. So now let's talk about some must-haves for your channel. The first one is the channel icon and the banner image, right? These two things, they need to align with the content that you are making on the channel. So I really recommend making your channel icon and the banner image super high quality. And if you guys aren't good at graphic design, which probably most of you guys aren't, I'd recommend hiring someone to do it. And with Fiverr, there are tons of pretty affordable options if you're willing to pay someone else. But if you do want to do it yourself, I would definitely recommend investing in Canva. They also have a free trial um, to Canva Pro, and they also have a free version that is also great. But with Canva, this is a platform that allows you to build your own channel icon and banner image. It actually allows you to build thumbnails, allows you to build uh, PDFs, presentations, social media posts, pretty much anything. So yeah, I'll definitely link those two things below if you want to check them out. Now let's talk about some of the components of a faceless YouTube video, right? This is going to be broken into five different parts. And the first one is the script. So of course, that's the words that are being spoken by the narrator of the video. Next, we have the video footage. So that's what the audience is actually uh, seeing when they watch the video itself. And then third, we have the editing. So how all the video footage, the stock footage, the graphics and stuff is broken up to visually appeal to the audience. And this is where I recommend most of you guys to hire this out because editing takes a long time and you probably don't want to get stuck doing that. Number four is the voiceover slash music. So that's what the audience hears during the video. And then lastly, we have the thumbnail. This is the video preview image that is basically your clickbait, right? It's what people see along with the title of the video. And the purpose of this thumbnail is to draw people in. We really want a thumbnail that makes people want to watch the video. So let's get into more detail on each of these things. First, we'll talk about the script, right? The free method of making a script is you're going to research the video yourself. And you know, that could take anywhere between 30 minutes to five hours, I think, for most videos. And yeah, writing that script yourself is the free method because you're just trading your own time and you're doing it yourself. The paid method is paying a freelancer on Fiverr. So there are a lot of affordable uh, script writers on Fiverr that you guys can hire uh, on a video by video basis and that's just going to really automate the process. So I will put a link to Fiverr down below if you are interested uh, in hiring someone to write your scripts for you. So now let's talk more about video footage, right? So there's a free method, and that's basically when you use free stock websites to get your footage. So some of the sites I recommend are Pexels and Pixabay. There are a ton of free images as well as a ton of free video stock footage on there. So you can just search through there, get clips from that and put that in your video. You can also use YouTube Creative Commons. They have a lot of stuff on there. You can screen record yourself doing something on your computer and show that, or you can film with your own equipment that you have. This does require that you have phone or a camera or something, uh, and that could take a lot longer. So probably not the best way to really automate the faceless YouTube game. Then we have the paid method of getting your video footage, right? So you could use something like Canva Pro. They have a ton of really premium stock footage on their website, so I will link that below. And there's also Storyblocks, another really big video footage platform. Now, when it comes to video editing, uh, you can do it yourself for free. So you can use a software like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, or you can do the paid method, which is where you use a platform that costs money. So WeVideo, Adobe Premiere Pro, 
Final Cut Pro, or you can hire a video editor on Fiverr, and that's probably what I'm going to recommend for most of you guys, since the video editing can take a long time, and it is a step that you will want to automate uh, at least some point in the future. Now with the voiceover, there is a free method, which is you know just recording it yourself, doing the voiceover yourself, so you will have to decide, is my voice good for this? Is this something I want to do? Because it definitely takes away from the whole passiveness of this business model. And then there's the paid method, which is just where you hire a voiceover artist from Fiverr. So I will put that link below. There are a lot of really great voiceover actors on that platform. So that is something I would recommend. As far as music, you can either get free music from the YouTube audio library, from Free Music Archive, or from Ben Sound, or you can pay for your music. And I personally use Epidemic Sound. Uh, I will link that below. They have a ton of really amazing uh, music on there that honestly I will listen to sometimes just like for enjoyment. And another big one is Artlist. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I will also link that below. Now for your thumbnails, you can either just create them yourself, just using maybe the free version of Canva, or you can pay for Canva Pro, which unlocks a lot of new features. Uh, you can use PicMonkey, or you can hire people to make your thumbnails for you on Fiverr. And let's talk about Fiverr for a second because there's something that, that you guys really need to be aware of before hiring anyone on Fiverr. A lot of these people on Fiverr are going to have offers where they do everything for you in one package. Now, based on the experience of people I've talked to, when they hire these types of people to just do everything in one single package, usually the quality is extremely low and you get delivered this video that not a lot of people are going to actually sit through it and uh, give it a lot of watch time. And you'll see that a lot of these like cheaper uh, all-in-one packages, they use these robot voiceovers that no one likes to listen to. So you definitely want to be aware of this. And another thing with these all-in-one packages is that a lot of the times, they're basically doing no research for you. And when that happens, you get a very low quality script, which doesn't create a good video. Because remember you guys, these videos, they can't be really bad. They have to be good. Otherwise people aren't going to watch them and YouTube is not going to learn, hey, this is a good channel. Let's keep pushing uh, this content out. So if you start with a bad quality script, then well, it's gonna be very hard to grow your channel. So for most of you guys, I'm gonna say it's better off finding quality candidates to complete each of these components for your faceless videos. So that means going on Fiverr or Upwork or whatever site, uh, finding people, testing them, uh, seeing how they perform, and then just keep doing this until you find the right team. When you're building your faceless YouTube channel, there are some extensions that you absolutely need. So the main one that I use is TubeBuddy. Uh, it's helped me out so much, and they do have a free browser extension that integrates directly into your YouTube and it helps you optimize your channel. It's going to do keyword research for you. It's going to recommend different uh, tags for your videos. It has a lot of features that assist with thumbnail testing and video promotion. So I will put a link to TubeBuddy in the uh, description below. It's definitely something I recommend and at least get the free one you guys because even with the free one, there are a ton of things that will help you grow your channel. So now let's talk about some of the best strategies for your channel's growth. First of all, we want to have consistent and quality uploads. You don't wanna put out bad content because that just means that no one's gonna actually watch through your videos. And I would recommend for most of you to do at least two videos per week. If you can do two videos per week, that's gonna be very consistent, it's going to be frequent enough, and it's going to lead to faster growth. I also recommend creating videos that answer questions that your audience is asking frequently, right? So a lot of these videos are going to be evergreen content that show up when people search different things on YouTube. And what a lot of people don't realize is that YouTube is the second largest search engine right after Google. I mean, Google owns YouTube, but yeah, we'll say that it's the second largest search engine. So if you can get some of those evergreen search uh, results, if you can get ranked for those search terms, then your channel is going to have a huge, huge advantage. Now, one thing I wanna tell you guys is the 33 video rule. And this just states that at 33 videos, so once you've posted 33 videos, double down on the best performing content. Go through all the videos, look at the ones that have performed the best, 
the most views, the most likes, and then start doubling down on that. That's going to really help your channel out. And also you can post videos when your viewers are on YouTube. This is going to give you a small, but you know, maybe noticeable boost in your initial views. And how you do that is you go to the YouTube studio, you go to analytics, and then you go to audience. It's going to show you when most of your uh, subscribers are active on YouTube. And of course, look at your competition, you guys. Look at other faceless YouTube channels that are in your specific niche and then start doing things that they're doing. If they have a certain type of thumbnail that works well, start doing that. If they have certain video topics that are doing extremely well, make your own version of that. Okay, let's talk about some tips to increase your likes and subscribers. First of all, you need to provide consistent value with your content. I feel like I've said this a lot, but I just really want to emphasize that because the quality of your content is so important to build an audience that continually watches your videos. And yeah, that's why you just need to really provide that consistent value, right? Answer any questions your audience is curious about or asks and provide solutions for problems that your audience faces. Another thing you can do is offer giveaways to incentivize engagement. For example, you can give a shout out in the next video to someone that likes or subscribes or comments on your videos. So you can put that at the end or at the beginning, and that should lead to a bit more conversions in actually liking, subscribing, or commenting. Or you can offer something like a gift card that's related to the channel topic. That's going to really increase the number of people that think, hey, I should actually subscribe to this channel. It's free and I might as well do it because I have the chance to be in the shout out or get a free gift card. And I don't recommend being too, too pushy with this, but you do need to ask your viewers to like and subscribe, preferably multiple times throughout the video, because if you don't ask a lot of people if they like your video, they're still not going to subscribe, right? It takes a good amount of energy and actually just thinking about subscribing to subscribe. So you do want to put that into your viewer's mind. So now I wanna give you guys a sort of a cool bonus video release strategy that has worked on my videos. And that is when you schedule your videos to release at a time that is not on the hour or it's not on the half our mark. The reason for this is because a lot of different YouTube channels, a lot of the channels out there are going to release their videos exactly on the hour or on the half hours, right? So it could be like 7 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. So you're essentially competing with those channels if they post at the exact same time as you, right? And a lot of your initial views are going to come from YouTube actually notifying your subscribers that you just posted a video, right? So they're gonna really push out your video to, to viewers more heavily when it's first released. So thinking about that, it makes sense to schedule your videos on the 15 minute mark. So 15 or 45, or even something that's just not on an even number. So for example, 6.45 p.m. or 6.48 p.m. could be good times to post. And when you do that, it allows your content to get pushed to more viewers immediately after release. They're going to not see that there's two different options of videos that they can watch and choose one or the other. Instead, it's just gonna be you and they're going to hopefully click on that and watch your video. Now let's talk about the requirements for YouTube monetization. So monetization comes in many different forms through YouTube, but the most direct way of getting paid for your YouTube channel is uh, through Google AdSense. So you need to be a part of the YouTube partnership program in order to receive a portion of the AdSense revenue. To get monetized, you need to have 1000 subscribers or more and you need to have 4,000 or more watch hours in the last 365 days. So yeah, you can't just go out and buy 1,000 subscribers. Um, that's not gonna work because you do need that 4,000 plus hours of watch time, which can be quite hard for beginners to get. But like I said, for most channels, it's gonna take probably half a year to get monetized. And then after that, it's just going to be a pretty steady stream of income. Now AdSense is the most direct way of getting paid for YouTube videos, but there are so many other ways to get paid. And this includes things like affiliate marketing. You put these links in the description. When people click on those and make a purchase, you are going to get a small commission. Another is offering community post shoutouts. I feel like a lot of people don't do this or they don't know about this, but yes, community post to your subscribers and you can charge for that. You can also do brand deals and sponsorships. So this can be sort of like a, let's say 15 to 60 second integration in the middle of your video. These pay extremely well and it's probably Probably how I make maybe a third to a half of my income. You can also sell a course or an ebook. You can do merch sales. You can 
can create a blog around the same topic and then drive traffic there and then monetize on that blog as well. And yeah, just be really creative, you guys. As long as you have eyeballs, you can be creative and find a ton of different ways to monetize those eyeballs. And now when it comes to scaling and then 10 xing your earnings, you do want to reach 10,000 or more subscribers on your channel because once you reach that level, you have a pretty decently sized channel. You will be able to get more brand deals, more affiliates are going to be willing to work with you. And of course, your AdSense is probably going to be higher since you have more active subscribers. Once your channel reaches that 10,000 subscriber mark, you can actually create a new channel with the exact same type of content or, or similar and then incentivize your current subscribers from your original channel to subscribe to that new channel. From there on, you can do community posts that share content from that new channel in order to send people from your existing channel to that new one. And then, yeah, we're gonna keep doing that until we can get the second channel to 10,000 or more subscribers and then we're gonna keep repeating that. This way you can build multiple channels in similar niches and piggyback off of your existing successful faceless channels. Examples of faceless channels that perform well, I think you guys will find this pretty interesting. We have meditation, we have motivation, we have tutorials, product reviews, whiteboard explainers, music playlists, and then finally niche down informative content. So this could be things like tips for dog owners, facts about Fortnite, tips about traveling Europe, investing, stocks, crypto, anything like that. Now, if I were to start off with a faceless channel right now, it would probably be a topic that is trending. So this could be things like cryptocurrency, NFTs, train cards or physical collectibles, commentary about trending shows or movies that people are searching for. If you guys are thinking about starting a channel right now, these are some things that, you know, would be on the top of my list. So I know that was a lot of stuff. Let's talk about some of the actionable steps that you can take right now to start building your faceless YouTube channel. First off is choose what type of channel you want to make and then create your faceless YouTube channel by going to youtube.com and creating an account there. Then you're gonna want to decide on your method of operations. So are you gonna want to do everything yourself and not spend any money? Do you want to pay for everything or do you want to do a hybrid approach? Then you're gonna begin planning and creating your content, right? This is the hard part. It's where a lot of people, you know, they'll make content for a little bit and then burn out, but you do want to plan and you do want to create consistent content for your channel. After 33 uploads, you're gonna want to go back and analyze what is working and what's not working. So the things that are working, you're gonna want to replicate that and build off that. And the things that are not working, you're gonna want to scrap that. Keep doing this, stay consistent, and you're gonna be able to scale up and exponentially grow your earnings and your channels. So there you have it. That is how you start a faceless YouTube channel. This is a very great way to start making income through YouTube, which I think is only growing I think over the next decade, YouTube might take over the world. It's certainly going to be one of the biggest networks that people are watching on a consistent basis. So yeah, if you are looking for side hustle and you want your piece of the pie, I think this could be a great side hustle or business to start. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials just like this. We'll be making a lot of free guides and courses on how to build side hustles, hence the name Side Hustle Mastery. And yeah, you definitely don't want to miss out on any of those. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.